you're the problem. You. At least that's what the ATF and the DOJ just said. Let's talk about it. The Department of Justice ordered the ATF to do an in-depth analysis of firearm trafficking investigations, and their results are astonishingly and purposely misleading. In that report, which came out on Thursday, the ATF said that more than 68,000 firearms were illegally trafficked in the United States through what they call unlicensed gun dealers who aren't required to perform background checks. Yeah, that's you. That's me. That's anyone else in America. <laughs> this eye-opening number occurred during a, during, during, during a five-year period. And wait until you hear this BS. Before I explain more, I want to mention the sponsor, and that's Lear Capital. It's no secret that our government is addicted to printing money, and it's not going to stop. There is no president, no politician that will stop this debt from rising anytime soon. If you believe that, like I truly do, I encourage you to call now and get the free report called $3,200 Gold to understand how rising debt means rising gold. If you haven't checked how the cost of gold has gone up, uh, you're not paying attention. There's a reason it is. It's great information from our friends at Lear Capital, and there's absolutely no obligation to purchase, just free education that they will provide you. Ask them the questions. They will give you the answer. And uh, if you, like myself, have made any purchases lately of silver or gold, I'm sure you're extremely happy that you did. Call 1-800-260-5075. Again, 1-800-260-5075, or head over to leargg.com and get you some gold. So what is an unlicensed gun dealer, right? Let's get to the bottom of this. Well, the truth is, there's no such thing. The ATF completely made this term up. And why do I say that? Well, because in order to have a gun dealer, you have to have a federally issued firearms license. In other words, you must be an FFL. And gun manufacturers like SIG and Glock and Smith, they don't sell to individuals they sell to distributors, and FFLs buy their guns from distributors. You need to understand that if you don't. Pay attention. Because what they're really trying to say is that citizens sold their lawfully owned items to other citizens in this country according to the law. And the ATF has a big problem with that. The 68,000 plus illegally trafficked firearms represents 54% of the illegally trafficked guns in the United States that were involved in more than 9,700 ATF firearm trafficking investigations between 2017 and 2021, according to the DOJ. Now, I'm not saying here that you know criminals aren't an issue. In fact, the only issue here is criminals, and criminals will be criminals. No matter how many laws you try to pass, they will do it unless you make them stop doing it. Now, according to the report, these guns were used in 368 shooting cases, and of course, because the ATF doesn't have those guns in their illegally obtained gun registry, it's tougher for them to figure out who was the original purchaser of those guns. According to ATF Director Stephen Dettelback, it is much more difficult for ATF to track these guns, and you, the law-abiding Americans, must pay by giving up your rights. After all, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives solely exists to infringe on a constitutionally guaranteed right. Never, ever forget that, folks. Never forget that. According to the report, the recipients of these traffic firearms were people who had previously been convicted of felonies in almost 60% of the cases in which investigators were able to identify the background of the recipient somehow. Furthermore, these trafficked firearms were used to commit additional crimes in almost 25% of these cases, according to Stephen Dettelback. That includes more than 260 murders and more than 220 attempted murders, according to the report. Stephen Dettelback also said, quote, The data shows, therefore, that those who illegally traffic firearms, whether it's out of a trunk, at a gun show, or online are responsible for real violence in this nation. In short, you can't illegally help to arm non-violent people and not be responsible for the violence that follows. Word salad, did you catch that? You can't sell your lawfully owned items to non-violent people 
without us wanting you to feel guilty because criminals do bad things. That's what he just said. Perhaps we should just make murder illegal and that will end the problem. Now the report found the average number of guns trafficked per case was 16. And they say that people who got them through unlicensed dealers bought about 20 of these weapons on average compared to 11 guns for straw purchasers. However, if they're buying guns knowing that they are a criminal or they're going to knowingly transfer them to a criminal, they're straw purchasers anyway. So all of these are straw purchases. All right, let's, let's look at these numbers real quick. Let's get down to the brass tacks. First of all, anyone who is buying a gun with the intent to flip it to someone else is already violating the straw purchase statutes, like I said. They're not unlicensed gun dealers. They're straw purchasers. They're already breaking a federal law. Now, perhaps the penalties for all of these crimes don't deter folks or criminals because we don't hold criminals accountable now, do we? That's right. So you are the freaking problem, America. You want your freedom, and that's bad. Now, this report says that the guns, like I said, were used in 368 shooting cases. Remember that. Out of more than 68,000 firearms, that's, only, that's actually less than half of 1%. Half of 1%. And the ATF wants you to give up more of your Second Amendment rights for less than half of 1% of a problem. Now, a huge chunk of these guns were also part of the investigation of that guy the ATF assassinated during the investigation of the airport executive that I covered in this video floating here. Now, this report conveniently leaves out the thousands of firearms that were trafficked by our own federal government, by the ATF and the Department of Justice during the Obama administration. Remember Eric Holder? Remember him? Now, the president and the ATF and Eric Holder trafficked guns to cartel members in Mexico. And those guns, some of them were used to kill Border Patrol agents. But again, you and I who sell our lawful, lawfully owned firearms to individuals who aren't criminals, you and I are the problem. Give up your rights. Also, they conveniently leave out the tens of thousands of firearms. The tanks, the armored personnel carriers, the sniper rifles, suppressors, the night vision, and everything else that Joe Biden left behind for the Taliban. You and I are the problem. You and I should give up our rights. Remember, America, you do not need any type of license to sell one of your personally owned firearms to another person. You're not required to do a background check. Now, I know a couple states have changed the laws, and those states are violating the Second Amendment, but there is nothing in the text, history, or tradition of this country to do any of it. So it's all illegal. And that's what they hate. That's what the ATF hates, because all of the firearms in this country aren't in their registry. So they don't know who has what and where they are. That's the problem, honestly. There's no such thing as an unlicensed gun dealer. They're playing word salad. The problem is straw purchasers, no, straw purchasers knowingly buying guns for themselves, at least on paper, and then they turn around and knowingly sell them to criminals. That's the problem. But don't hold them accountable. Don't forget Hunter Biden lied on his background check to illegally obtain a firearm from a licensed dealer. He's still walking around free, so they obviously don't care about what the real problem is. They only want to take away our rights at every turn. I don't know about you, but the ATF can kiss my ass. If you love the Second Amendment like I do, subscribe to this channel down below. I will keep you in the loop. It's free. That red button doesn't cost you anything. It just lets you know when I put out new content, as well as if you hit that uh, uh, bell notification, turn that on. But we need to get this information out to real Americans because real Americans are the ones who are going to fix this country because it's getting to the point where we're going to need real Americans to do real American stuff. Like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you think about this report. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.